Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is a follow-up video on my 24 volt ANIT A8 upgrade video. So you ask me the question, are the stepper motors now getting hotter versus the 12 volt version of the ANIT A8? I'm going to find out right now. Hello, my name is Daniel. Welcome to the Crosslink channel. I would like to help you being more successful with 3D printing. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. So I did the 24 volt upgrade to the ANIT 8 in one of my last videos and we changed basically everything. We replaced the heat bed, we replaced the power supply, we replaced the heating cartridge and also the main board and everything is now running on 24 volt. The only thing that we didn't change in terms of the electronics was the motors. So the stepper motors are still the original ones. And you ask me, is this going to affect the temperature of the motors and how much is it going to be different versus the 12 volt version of the init A8? So I have both printers here, 12 volt version here, the orange one, and the blue one is running on 24 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a test print for one and a half hours on both printers at the same time. I'm going to do measurements of the temperature of the y-axis motor because that is going to be the hottest one. At least for me, it's always the motor that gets the hottest. And I'm going to do this in one minute intervals in the first few minutes and then I'm going to extend the interval as the prints get longer. And we're going to see a comparison chart at the end how the temperature of the y-axis motor is going to be over the time. And so we're gonna get the answer, is it different running on 24 watts. I'm very curious for the results, so let's go and do the test prints. So we are now 25 minutes into the print and I can already see that the temperature on the 24 volt version is higher. How much higher? We're gonna see in a minute when the print is finished. So stay tuned and let's see the results. So the prints are done and basically look both the same. Um, so the result in terms of quality is not different, but let's have a look at the temperature curves. So let's have a look at the computer now. So looking at um, the Excel diagram here, you can see that we have two curves. One is the 12 volt curve, which is the blue one. And then we have the 24 volt curve, which is the orange one. And you can clearly see that the orange curve for the 24 volts is yeah, raising uh, steeply at the beginning. And then it's flattening out at around about 75, 76 degrees Celsius and the 12 volt curve is flattening out at around about 35 degrees Celsius. So the result is clearly showing us the temperatures are much higher with the 24 volt version. So if you're interested, you can download this Excel spreadsheet. Um, it's linked in the description down below. And I'm gonna do a test with a replacement motor that is capable of officially 24 volts and see if that makes any kind of difference. You could add a cooling block to this motor and that would probably lower the temperature, but you could add a little fan to cool it down. If the motor is at one point going to fail, that is the question. So I will have a look into the long-term results, printing longer with this printer. And if any kind of part will fail, I'm going to put it in the description or in the comments of this video. So far, I would say it's still fine and you can go with 24 watts. So that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. So please like, subscribe, share, do all the good things and come back next week for the next video on this channel. Have fun printing and see you next time. Bye-bye.